to a new video. Today we are going to continue the road to top 20. Um, episode 3, part 2, uh, I believe in part 1 we ended up at 793.71. And yeah, we're going to continue climbing, um, or sh we're going to continue showing the climb. Um, I'm going to do it a bit differently though. I'm only going to show you guys the relevant battles. Me stomping low <laughs> Low rank players, it's no fun. Watching me stomp low ladder players is probably not no fun. So uh, me st stomping players overall is probably not fun. Um, so try to show. I'm trying to show a few uh, good battles, close battles uh, against uh, higher rank players as well. So hopefully you will enjoy it this way instead of showing everything. Um, yeah, if you guys are interested in the team I'm using, by the way, you can check it out on Patreon. Uh, yeah, let's see where we were. Because it shows rank 32, but I think it should be top. Yeah, rank 29 is where we ended last time. So, yeah, I'm going to pause the video and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, I'm seeing a Venusaur. There's a Torkoal be hiding behind him, so it's a bit of a semi-sand team. There's no darn Manhattan on this team, though. He's is using a Xatu, though. I, I think this Pokemon also re uh, received his hidden ability, so that's going to be Magic Bound. Uh, magic Bounds. Uh, Xatu. This are, can be a lot of things. It can be Bandit. It can be Source Sands. Uh, I think it might be Bandit. Uh, I think... I mean, I think it might be Sword Stance, but it can also be Sword Stance Weavile with um, Bandit Scizor. But it can also be Sword Stance Scizor with Bandit Weavile. Um, Glyscore, not, not sure what to expect from him. Uh, maybe it's a Sword Stance set as well. Um, but yeah, uh, if I ever copy his Venusaur with my Ditto, I think I claim a million kills. Especially when I can just click Weather Ball. So if he ever clicks Growth on that Venusaur, it becomes really difficult. He does have a... Weaver, which can use Ice Shard, but yeah, um, so we'll just have to see how this battle goes. I will probably lead off this game with either Shao or Gliscor, and yeah, let's see how this goes, guys. Uh, once again, if you are interested in the Steam, you can check it out on Patreon. There's a poker based plus team building video on this team. Basically, in the team building video, I explain uh, why I chose to go certain routes and the strategy behind the team. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go for the play button and uh, let's just see how this one goes. Actually, the first time playing against Xatu in this game, obviously, I played in other Pokemon games against it. Um, doesn't really impress me much uh, if you if you compare it with Mega Sableye. <laughs> but yeah, I, I still I still don't think Xatu is all you worthy though. As his flying types just gives him too many weaknesses, to be honest. But, uh, we'll see. He does lead up with the Torkoal, and I didn't even look at my lead. I actually led up with Ditto, okay. So, what are we doing here? Eldrug, Yawn, Lava Plum. Maybe I was just scouting if this Torkoal was a defensive Torkoal. Looking at that set, it most likely is. But... Yeah, I can just go into Gliscor. Um, if we click Xion, it won't sleep me because I activate my Gli Poison Heal immediately. And he does go indeed for the Stealth Rock. Um, does give me a free Sword Sense, I think. Unless he is crazy and goes straight into Weavile. But I think he's either going into Xatu, Scizor, or um, Gliscor. In a rare occasion, he can go into Venusaur. But if I for some reason click U-Turn, he might be in trouble. So, uh, and Venusaur, even though it's good for me, he did go hard with all, what a guy, <laughs> what a guy, but maybe he knew I had Sword Sense in this class, I think I played him before, not with that team though, because I would have remembered if I played against that team, so yeah, I have to go into my Ferrothorn, and let's see what my opponent is going to do here, he clicks Spear, and it's definitely choice band damage. So assuming this is choice band, scissor might be defog. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get up rocks. But yeah, uh, he goes off into Xatu. Um, 
the reason I just click rocks anyway, even though I knew Xatu was most likely coming in, uh, I don't lose much from clicking. So he already had rocks up. So in that sense, it doesn't do much for me. And I can just pivot into Mian Shao because Xatu can actually learn Heat Wave. So let's, we're just scouting if he has Heat Wave. Um, it's like, he definitely has Roost on this moveset and now he showed Heat Wave. Um, it can be U-turn on it as well. But the Torkoal's sun ended, so Torkoal is not even uh, Heat Rock. I knock off his Rocky Helmet as he goes for Teleport. So he chooses Teleport. Um, heat Wave, most likely Roost. Maybe a Psychic, maybe as a status move. But I knocked off his Rocky Helmet. Uh, yeah, my opponent decided to bring in the Gliscor. I'm not sure if this is uh, Flying Gem, but he activated the Toxic Orb, so I was pretty uh, safe. I was pretty safe to U-turn there. Um, if I'm faster for some reason, um, then he's not running speed, meaning my Gliscor will most likely outspeed his Gliscor. And that can be advantageous uh, for my Sword Stance. I can set up on this guy. But yeah, he still has that Weavile, and I can. it's difficult for me to get out Barrax versus his team because he can go Xatu. And if I, for some miracle, am able to get out Barrax, he can bring in his Torkoal to a rapid spin against my Ferrothorn, of course. So I have to be a bit cautious. Magic Bounce basically means my Ferrothorn is useless that game. But yeah, I go Glide Square here. And yeah, because of those reasons, uh, it's going to be a tough game ahead because you guys know whenever we face Weavile, uh, the way we beat Weavile is by getting up our hazards. Uh, but here I might have to go for Facade straight away because he made that crazy play going straight into Weavile. I actually did decide to Source Dance here. <laughs> he should be afraid as well to go directly into Weavile. And if he has U-turn, I want to find out now. He at least showed Earthquake on me. And he, sh he Source Dances himself. But that me that means I beat him 1v1 because I outspeed, I outspeed him. Do I SD again? I do. And... Um, he goes for Facade. That should not be a 2 hit KO. Not with the healing I get. And now I can Facade myself. We knocked off the Rocky Helmet from the... Um, from the Xatu as well. So that helps. And I crit him here. But that's a defensive... That's a defensive glide score. But that's good to know. I might even Roost here because I can afford to... If it crits me, it's annoying, but if I kill him, he can pursue trap me with Gliscor. So if I get a bit more HP, uh, that can be a bit better. Uh, maybe he makes another switch. And he goes into Scizor. <laughs> that works out perfectly for me. He made a huge joke there. He wanted to save his Gliscor. I get off my Roost. Because I think he wanted to bring this in on Facade and knock me out with Bullet Punch. Something I was expecting as well, and I can just Earthquake the guy. And if he decides to bullet punch me for some reason, he is going to die to Earthquake. But he decided to go back into Gliscor, meaning that I still get my facade off. And Gliscor dies, and I actually will be at full HP. So this is like the best scenario for me at that point. Uh, when uh, we went for a Gliscor 1v1 here. Because I click facade here, he can, he can go back into Scissor to survive the attack. But I'm still getting back to full HP. We knew, we know I'm fast. He clicks Protect as well, which doesn't really, really matter much because even if he gets two Protects there, he's still going to die to my Facade. Like he can try to Protect again, but he's still going to die. I'm, I'm at plus four. Um, there's some people actually getting that shit, but yeah, he can try, you know, he can try. It's all good. But that's definitely a physical defensive glide score if he lives a crit from a plus four facade there. Maybe you should, uh, maybe that guy should uh, subscribe to my Patreon to get a better glide score set. <laughs> then maybe he wouldn't lose this 1v1. Kidding, guys. <laughs> Yeah, he, he, he knows he's in trouble. I'm at least getting one kill with this glide score before I have to swap it out against Weavile, of course. He ends up switching out into the Torkoal. So he gives me his son. And like I said, his glide score is not really an issue as long as my glide score is faster. And yeah, I can even facade again. I can even facade again. Uh, don't need to click Earthquake uh, in case that 
Xati was like max HP, max defense, you know. I knock out the Torkoal. Um, he, I don't know if he has a debug on his team because Torkoal revealed Rapid Spin. His magic bounce. He is forced to go Weavile. I can't predict anything else but an Ice Type attack, but there's no way he's not clicking Ice Type. I'm at plus four. But maybe he goes for the pursuit. He actually makes a double into Venusaur. And yeah. It is what it is, man. I can I can just bring in Mian Shao here. Uh, Mian Shao doesn't do much this game anyway. And if he clicks Weather Ball straight away, I live two attacks, so. Actually took damage with Mian Shao. When did I take that damage? I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> he does go for Weather Ball. And yeah. Does a lot though. Yeah, let's see if I live Sludge Bomb. But on the other hand, I'm still getting a kill with Ditto. And he his historical wasn't damp rock. He actually revealed solar beam. I'm definitely gonna die there. <laughs> he revealed solar beams, so it's not Giga Drain. Meaning that this is on a it's gonna be on a timer as well. And yeah, I can bring in my Ditto, click Weather Ball. I'm choice guy. I'm actually faster than his Weavile as well. Uh, uh, even outside of the sun. So I can just click Weather Ball. This, and I will most likely claim a kill. And th unless that Xatu is specially defensive. Uh, would be surprised though. Would be surprised if it is. At the moment the sun is gone. Uh, my Ferrothorn will also wall the, wall the Venusaur. My opponent sure is taking his time. He's probably Kalking. Probably Kalking. Is my Xatu living Weather Ball? Uh, it's super effective against Scizor and uh, we Weavile, of course. So they are not coming in. Uh, maybe he wants to sack Lyscor. Can be a possibility. But if he sacks Xatu, uh, that is an opportunity for me to get up rocks. And I don't care if the, um, it does go Xatu. But I got, so I got some damage on him earlier. So let's see if this is a 2 hit KO. Easily, that's easily a 2 hit KO. And now I can even get up Stealth Rock with my Ferrothorn. So, that is really good to know. The sun is still up. So if it, if he goes Scissor to Bullet Punch me, I live the attack. He actually decides to go Glasgow. We know he has Protect. So I might even swap here. Um, but do I need to? Because that's a spe that's a physical defensive Glyscore. So, even if he gets to protect, if, even if he gets a Protect here. He's still gonna die to Weather Ball. But if he gets two protects, I wonder if my hazards will stay up. Is that, yeah, I'm really thinking about it going Glide Square. Yeah, so I do go Glide Square. I can still use the Ditto. Um, I can still use Ditto to copy the Venusaur. He does indeed go for Protect. Sunlight, sunlight is gone. There was no reason for me to stay in if he has Protect. Good thing he showed it. Um, I double into Weezing. Uh, there's no way he clicks Earthquake on me, and otherwise he's taking poison damage. But if he goes into uh, into the um, Weavile right now, <laughs> I'm too good, guys. I'm too good at this game. <laughs> Basically, that Weezing double covered him clicking. Um, there was no way he clicks Earthquake on my Gliscor, right? So he either goes for Facade or Source Dances up there. But in a previous trade off, you saw that he would lose versus me. But it, had he gone for that route, he would have taken poison damage. And if he clicked Facade, he would have even taken Rocky Helmet damage. But going Weavile here uh, basically means that my we my Weezing doesn't care about him. And had he gone Scissor, same thing. Had he gone Venusaur, he wouldn't have had a super effective attack against me. Uh, he wouldn't have a strong Weather Ball against me either because the sun was gone. And now I don't even have to think. I can just go for Flamethrower. Because if he goes Glyscore, his Glyscore doesn't have Roost. And he goes Venusaur, but this is a super effective attack, so... Get a beautiful Flamethrower up against this guy, and now I can just go into my Ferrothorn Thorn, because he doesn't have the sun up, it's not... I can, I can obviously stay in, but Weezing is just way too good for just Scissor and Weavile. So I want to keep him healthy, don't want to take unnecessary damage. And yeah, there's no way he wants to switch them in on a Weavile... Uh, on a, on a Flamethrower, because I... 
I could be clicking Flamethrower here as well. So I felt like there's no way he's going to switch there. I go Ferrothorn, and even if he goes Gliscor there, Ferrothorn still gets the hazards up. He does go for Sludge Bomb. And I can, I can finally get my late game style rock up. And if Gliscor comes in, it doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't matter. I have a Weavile. I have a Weavile that can force him out. Because Weavile still kills him, kills him from full HP. I can even Leechy there and be annoying. Yeah. As he does click protect it. <laughs> it's completely fine though. Uh, I got my rocks up. It's gonna pressure Weavile. It's gonna pressure the Scissor too. I Leech. He clicks Earthquake. He doesn't even try to Source Dance on me. And with that Leech recovery, uh, my... My shit will stay up. And he will never get recovery now. So even if... If I go for Power Whip or something, um, it's going to be helpful too. But Spikes are just looking way too juicy versus him. And he actually swaps out into Scissor. Uh, I would have liked to use Spikes there. That's fine. I still get to damage this. And like I said, this is most likely Sword Stance. But that did nothing. <laughs> that did nothing, my man. And I still go Weezing. I would have loved to click Spikes there. And he actually U-turn, so maybe he's using double choice band, but we get to see from this damage. That is choice band at Scissor. Um, we haven't confirmed though. I mean, that Icicle Spirit did a lot to me. He actually goes Gliscor here, which is funny because he's going to take poison damage. And he, he's using Protect. I wonder if I, I just stay in here and click Flamethrower. I wonder. Because if he doesn't click Earthquake... If he doesn't click Earthquake and I stay in, he's kind of doomed. But he had no other good switch on this. Do I, do I stay in and pain? There's no way I'm staying in, right? Just go Ferrothorn. We don't really care about this Gliscor. I don't think there's any way he clicks Sword Stance though. Oh, he did. <laughs> he did. It's fine. Look at how low his scissor is getting. We leech again. Spike. We leech first. Yeah. Crazy man. Like, we could have We could have clicked spikes on those turns so many times, but uh, he wants his recovery. Um I it's understandable. But uh, he's not out of the woods yet, because if I if I connect my leech, I can bring in my glide score, and then I get poison heal plus uh, leech heat. He's not free to click earthquake in this situation. Is what I'm trying to say. Obviously, uh, I just power whip as he clicks earthquake, and we're doing quite some damage here. And with the recovery, I'm definitely living his attack. Spike air, maybe he clicks facade air. Dissipating my Gliscor. He swaps out into the scissor, and now I get a beautiful spike up. And if he. I can go wheezing, and if he does decide to U turn, um, he's he's gonna die to Weavile uh, to. Uh, because of Stout Rock plus poison, uh, Stout Rock plus spikes. Now it's a really long game. It does U-turn, but now he's gonna die. He cannot even switch into Weavile or or when I use Ditto to copy. He's taking poison damage here. I think I still keep this alive though, but uh, we'll see. I go Gliscor. Is he gonna Source Dance on me? He did, he did go for Earthquake. And now I'm in a position where I can just Source Dance here. I don't care if Weavile comes in. Spell Rock plus Spikes are up. Because if I click Facade and he clicks Source Dance, that would be bad. But in this sense, 
he clicks Sword Stance himself. I wonder if I just uh, saw there two times. Because he's into it KO range. I don't know if he protects. Because if I click Facade now, um, I also kill Weavile if he comes in. And I do, still do it KO the guy. But I do I do Sword Stance because like I said, I don't really care. Because uh, he, he cannot kill me from full. And I can kill him from there. And if Weavile did come in, again, I do have Stop Rock plus Spikes up. So now, I 100% Facade. And he decides to sack Venusaur. Which is also completely useless against me, because I do have a, do have a ferret on which he does, does not touch. Weavile comes back in. I don't know if he uses Pursuit there. But he will lose a lot if he does go for Pursuit if he's Choice Bandit. And I think I have a sec Ferrothorn or Weezing here. I do sec, Fer I do sec uh, Ferrothorn now. Because I can still sec Weezing on um, Scissor. And this guy actually ended up being Sword Stance. But there's no leftovers on him. So I think he's using like Never mel Melting Ice or something. Um, but it's fine. This just, just, this just sealed the deal. He actually uh, didn't have enough uh, to damage me. I did go for spikes. But, uh, like, I didn't care about him sword dancing up. Because that just means that my Ditto is going to win this game. Because I can just go Ditto here. His scissor can only come in one more time, and this is why I'll win. Because I my Icicle Spear goes first. I don't die to Ice Shard. So, even if he crits me, I don't die. Um, get my Icicle Spare off. And that's a plus two Ice Shard. If anything, I still have my Weave on the back. I can just go into Weezing now. Which, oh, I just spare. That's fine too. Because I, I can go Weezing on the next turn too. And he actually... He actually went Gliscor. Um, I could have gone Weezing there, but on the other end, if he kills me, I just go Weezing on the next turn. And if he attacks me, he dies. If he switches out, he's still going to die to Hazards, and now Weavile is going to win the game. So, that's that game, guys. He's going to die to Hazards. And I think we're I'm just going to pause it and we'll go to the next one. 22 minutes in. Okay, guys, we're back. And um, this time, looks like to be in... Offense, offensive team with a ditto. Um, looking at his team, uh, you gotta get, you gotta peel your eyes on a Metagross because, like I always said in my videos, Metagross is a menace to this team. He has the coverage to basically beat my whole team. So our priority should be figuring out which Metagross set it is. Then our next priority, obviously, is getting the Toxicorp on our Gliscor so we can actually switch it into the Garchomp and don't have to worry. And yeah, it's basically figuring out, figuring out if Metagross is a Stealth Rocker or a Garchomp. Um, yeah. We well does check three of his mom, but he has two Steel types. So it's going to be tough doing something with Weavile. Um, but yeah, I do trust my uh, Gliscor in doing something against his team. And funny enough, he doesn't have a close combat switch to Mian Shao, So Mian Shao can be awesome this game. Um, but yeah, let's see how we are going to play out this game. I will probably lead up with Ditto in this one. Just figuring out some of his sets. And ideally he's going to lead up with the Metagross. Because Metagross is strong versus my team. Which he does. Makes me also think that Metagross is the style rocker if he leads up with this. Like this. And yeah. Um... What are we going to do here? Took a bit of time. Maybe I was setting up the Kalk or something. <laughs> I was check. I, I was checking out his move set: explosion, ice punch, hammer arm, and yeah, because he's running the fighting. I can stealth rock here, but he he can change up moves. So I just decided to spam hammer arm. I can get up my rocks later on anyway. And again, I click hammer arm. Every bit of damage against this guy is going to matter. And we don't see leftovers on him. He's not choice. He actually decided to go for Ice Punch here. 
I get my hammer arm off. And I wondered... Okay, I might hammer armor again here. Because he doesn't have a fighting type resist on his team. But I saw his explosion, so I figured... I thought maybe he's Custaberry. If he clicks explosion now, it's not a big deal. Um, I'm still a steel type. I have max HP ditto. I hammer arm again as he hammer arms himself. And I crit him here. <laughs> so, so we don't get... He might have been explosion, so I might have gone into my Ferrothorn there. That's why. I might have gone into Ferrothorn or into Gliscor there. I don't think I would go Gliscor. I would probably go Ferrothorn. He goes Breloom here. Um, I can just swap out there. Because my Ditto can still be useful if that my Dragon ever nasty plots up. And looking at my team, my Ferrothorn is kind of useless against him. So if he clicks Spore, I can get up. Uh, Stall Rock, basically. He does go for Spore. And... Because I assume it's Technician. I don't see... On the on an offensive team like that. I don't die to Mog Punch, I'm pretty sure. So I decide to go for Stall Rock. He goes for Mog. He's Life Warped. So that's also good to know. And I get up Rocks. Uh, like I said, my Ferrothorn wasn't that good this game. Uh, Scissor most likely running that close combat. Yeah, I don't really touch Breloom. I Dragon most likely running Flamethrower or... Um, Flamethrower or Focus Blast. But here I'm considering going Weezing. Uh, but on the other hand, um, he still takes Iron Barbs plus uh, Iron Barbs plus Life Orb. And just getting all that damage on, on him just is helpful in the sense that Weezing has to take less damage. But I do have to figure out something out there because I wasn't sure if Mach Punch was going to kill with Ditto. Um, because if I go Weezing, he's obviously going to click Spore. And my Gliscor cannot kill the guy, especially because I don't have my orb activated, so he's just going to click Spore. He has Mach Punch. I don't want to lock myself into Ice Shard with Weevil. Man is most likely slower than this uh, Reloom. So I thought, I think, if Ma I was probably gawking here if Mach Punch would kill the Reloom. And it probably didn't. <laughs> By, uh, Go wheezing here. I go wheezing, and yeah, obviously, um, I have to take a spore here. But I burn a sleep turn, and I can just click flame tower again on the switch. I actually went for toxic spikes, which actually makes sense because his whole team is affected by this. And my opponent did decide to go into the Garchomp. Let's see if I wake up here. We don't wake up, but I will most likely wake up on the next one, and otherwise I get a max turn sleep. I still have my Ditto alive. And if that if that Breloom comes in on Stealth Rock, he would probably die to Mach Punch. Let me actually talk. Because I think maybe... Not like it would kill, to be honest. The Mach Punch even from there, but... Uh, no, I was actually wrong. If, if he was Jolly, I wouldn't have killed... The Breloom. It was adamant I would obviously kill. Um, and it was not worth losing Ditto there. On the other hand though, maybe it would have been better to go Ditto. Uh, but I wanted to keep this Ditto. Just in case. I guess this Garchomp. Because if I copy the Garchomp, I would be pretty strong as well. And I actually went Ditto straight away. Because so. um, I wasn't I wasn't sure what kind of uh, Garchomp this was. And my Gliscor's orb was not activated. So... I just sacked my Pokemon there. And I probably have to go Gliscor here. So in hindsight, maybe I should have just gone for Ditto. Had I not killed the Breloom, he would have still uh, died to Life Orb. And then I could have committed Weezing to the Scizor. And committed a strategy in which I activate the orb on my Gliscor. Because I have to go Gliscor now. Um... Gliscor is not leftovers at least. So it might be banded. And if he's banded, then um, I got a roost there. I get to it killed. And he does Dragon Claw. So most likely choice banded. Yep. It's definitely banded. The good thing we roosted. Yeah, that Garchomp is a threat though. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't have my Ferrothorn. So... But I, I don't regret anything uh, on a Ferrothorn because... Ferrothorn uh, did get up rocks versus Sim and those rocks are definitely helping me out there. I roosted again just to make sure. And his leftovers are Dragon. I can bring in the Mian Shao. As he goes for Pulse. I think this is like the freest Dragon. Uh, the freest close combat. But he might be Substitute. So I might Jutsu in there. Close combat. And he does reveal Substitute. But it's still fine. Because his Dragon Pulse will still not kill me. I'm only at minus one spit death. I think I just uh, U turn now. Just to be safe. Surprised. <laughs> he does Dragon Pills here. I could have killed him, of course, but if he subbed again, uh, that would have been horrendous. And like I said, um, actually, I don't have Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have Ditto, but yeah, like, if if I close commented again and he did use Substitute, I would lose a Pokemon. But now I at least am able to uh, bring in, um, bring in Weaver, I guess. Because I, I don't think he's going to die to Facade from Gliscor. Such a tough position to be in. Because I, I basically sack my Ditto on a Garchomp. Uh, but that was the only play. Um, because, yeah, if he, he would have 2 hit kill my Gliscor if I didn't sack Ditto. I actually did decide to go Gliscor here, though. Am I trying to set up on this guy? Miensha doesn't have the HP, so... I'm either forced to click Source Dance here. Wait, what am I doing? What? Oh, it. Yeah, I was skulking and it might have been. Because that's a 2 it. That was a low roll. I was trying to get a low roll, but no, nah, it doesn't happen. So I basically could have gone Weave on had an extra Pokemon. That was a big. Uh... Uh, it's not looking good, guys. <laughs> not looking good! Because he has a free Weavile here. And he has a free Scissor here. That really sucked. I do go for Spear. And he actually stayed in, so... I traded my Miancha for this, which is not regrettable. And I still have my Weavile alive, at least. My opponent actually decided to go Ditto. The Ditto is Scarf and I'm still on a decent amount of HP, so this is gonna this is gonna be RNG. Because I, I cannot afford to switch to Weezinger. So I just I'm just gonna stay in. He went for the RNG player instead of going scissor. He gets three hits. He could have just gone scissor. I get three hits as well. See how lucky we get there. Now he gets the four hits, so even looking worse for me. And I have to go wheezing. I have to go wheezing here. Do I flame air? We do flame. He clicks spear, so he can bring in Garchomp safely, I guess. But I. Of course, we burn a lot of sleep turns, so we wake up. And I don't kill Ditto. But I have to click Flame here. He's gonna die to Stealth Rock anyway, so I have to click Flame. And I actually have to hope that he doesn't get 5 hits on me. <laughs> actually struggles. Let's speak. Ah, that's another mistake by me. I, I knew he had 5 PP, but remember my Weevil has pressure. And he used Icicle Spear two times. 
Meaning that he only has one it only had one icicle spare left and he used it against me. So I could have gone for toxic spikes there. So a bit of a little choke by me. As well, a bad play by me. Um not necessarily bad, but my awareness was a bit off. That's why he struggled. Because Ditto only has 5 PP when it copies a Pokemon. Now Breloom comes in. So he's probably gonna click Spore again. So I have to choose. I have to choose. Am I trying to wake up? Against this guy. Because I can get a second turn wake. But I know my Gliscor can set up on his Garchomp. My Gliscor can set up on his Garchomp, so in that sense, it's um, going to be helpful. And he Swords Dances up in my face. But I should still not die from there. And I actually wake up, but I shouldn't I shouldn't even die from there. Uh, even if he Swords as Life Orb. Unless he's running like Stone Edge, which is unlikely because it doesn't affect Technician. And he doesn't get technician. He doesn't get the technician boost anyway. But he does go Garchomp here, and I ha I am forced to stay in. On a on a Dragon Claw, I think I even. What do I even do? Am I going for Toxic or something? I'm pain splitting here in case I live. I guess. But choice Banner Dragon Claw should definitely be a kill from there, which it is. And I think he knows I'm gonna click Rooster. So I might even Swords Dance here um, because it's in horrible position. But if I Swords Dance up, I might be able to beat Scissor. And as long as I'm over 60 HP, around 60%, I can deal with Scarchomp because his Dragon Claw is not, not doing more than 60%. So uh, I'm figuring, like he, he knows, like I did it earlier to him as well. I roost, get to full HP, and then I sword stance up on this guy. So he does end up switching. I do get my sword stance there. And I wonder if I even, um, do I even earthquake here? I do earthquake. And he didn't bullet punch me. And that's awesome, because... I knock him out, and now his Garchomp left, and his Garchomp is definitely in Earthquake range. Oh, I remember this. And you guys get to find out, he made a huge misplay. Because if he had Aqua Till, if that guy had Aqua Till, guys, he, all he needed to do was Bullet Punch with the Scissor, and he would won. He would win. But maybe he was expecting me to be physically defensive. Maybe he was expecting me to be physically defensive, and... Um, 805. Maybe he was expecting me to be physical defensive. This is where we ended up. Um, and I don't know which rank that is. Uh, maybe a show. Uh, but I, I really don't know his thought process. If he was awkward, if he was awkward till on that guy, then if he was awkward till on that guy, then um, he should have just bullet punched me to death. Unless that's a def like a defensive scissor. Like, maybe it was a bulky scissor with sword stance. And he thought that bullet punch would not do enough. But my if he was a defensive scissor with sword stance, he wouldn't have died to my earthquake. I really don't know his thought process. I don't know why. If that was an offensive scissor, you just bullet punch and I'd be I'll be in range. But on the other hand, if I was a physically defensive Gliscor. Because... But he should have known, because... He, he just used Dragon Claw against my Gliscor. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna end it up at this one. Um, the next part might be the final. I would just have to see how long that video is going to be. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far. If you did, make sure to hit me up with one of these. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And you can check out the team on Patreon. There's a Poker Paste Plus team building video on this team. And uh, you can also join our Discord server if you'd like to discuss this game. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.